Hello, and welcome to the Flex Module installation video. The Flex Module comes with a 12 to 24 MPO to MPO cable assembly with up to 30 meters of trunk cable stored on its onboard spool. It contains an integrated yet detachable LC or SC distribution module. If you require more than 30 meters of cabling, well, that's okay because the cable assembly can be extendable up to 500 meters through the use of an open spool. So here's an example. You may receive a flex module with the inside spool mounted separately onto an open spool, shown here. To remove the flex spool, simply unscrew the wing nut. However, before doing so, here's an example on how to unreel the cable assembly from the open spool. First, mount the open spool on a derailleur. Next, remove any protective covering. Using the pulling eye, derail your cable assembly. Once your cable assembly reaches its end, you will notice some strain relief tape that now can be removed. Next, you can remove the flex spool by simply unscrewing the wing nut. This next demonstration will show you how to properly install a spool in the base of a flex module for the purpose of pulling the assembly from the rear. The first step is to position the spool with two holes facing outwards. Carefully insert the cable assembly through the back tabs of the base. Now, apply pressure to the spool so it can be inserted into the base. The two holes on the reel facing out is a great indicator that the spool is in the disengaged position, meaning you can easily pull your cable assembly out or even rewind your cable back into the flex module. The next demonstration will show you how to use the front pulling method. First, remove the distribution module from the base. You can do this by releasing the two supporting clips on each side using a small flathead screwdriver. Next, reinstall the flex spool, but have the cable assembly use the front path of the module instead of the back. Now carefully secure the cable down with one hand using a bit of pressure to reattach the distribution module with the other. That's it, you're done. You can now pull the desired length of cable assembly using this front pulling method. The flex module is fully compatible with all next step rack mount patch panels and wall mount enclosures. This front pulling example here gives you the flexibility to pull your desired length of cable. To remove the flex module, Simply squeeze the two tabs inwards and pull the module out. Now, to lock the flex spool in place, carefully remove the spool and flip it over to the opposite side, exposing the MPO connectors. Then, reinsert the flex spool again, but be careful not to kink your cables while reinserting. You will notice that when you're trying to pull your cable assembly, it will no longer move. Well, that's because the spool is now in the lock position. Once your spool is locked in place, you will have access to the MPO connector that can be connected directly into the back of the distribution module, shown in this example. That's it, you're done. You can now insert your flex module into your desired next step patch panel. Notice again how your cable assembly is locked in place. The front of the flex module has its integrated cable management system that can be utilized on both sides of the module. Now here's one last thing. If you require to switch from the front to the rear pulling position, you can start by simply removing the cable assembly from any front supporting cable management. Next, flip the flex module over to access the spool. Remove the spool from the base and pull back the cable assembly. Now you have successfully removed the cable assembly from the front axis. You can now follow the procedures for a back pulling method shown already in this video. Thanks for watching. For more videos, you can visit our YouTube channel or visit our website at www.yworks.com for more information.